cuties, welcome and welcome back to my Roblox channel. Now before we get going, make sure to like this video, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications. You guys, my plushie is live right now on HeyCuties.com. And you don't want to miss out on getting this adorable Kenzie plushie. And it also comes with a pink heart bag and cutie stickers for all of you guys. But hurry, because today is the last day where if you order one of these guys, you have a chance of winning one of 100 autograph cards signed by me. So go to HeyCuties.com right now to get your plushie. Anyway, so in today's role-playing video, my best friend Sky never showed up to school one day. So the entire town went into lockdown to try and find her. Meanwhile, have an awesome day at school, Mackenzie. Thanks, Mom. I'll try my best. I'll see you after school. Ugh, this place sucks, but at least I get to see my BFF, Sky. Hmm, that's strange. Normally, Sky is here first, considering the bus gets here 10 minutes before I do. Maybe the bus was just running late today. She'll be here soon. Good morning, class. Good morning, Mr. Teacher, Man, sir. First things first, attendance. When I call your name, say here. Ashley. Here. Ayla! Not here! Ayla, you are here! Yeah, but I wish I wasn't! Anyways, uh, Mackenzie? Here! Sky! <laughs> Sky? Uh, Sky's not here yet, Mr. Teacher Man, sir. I think she's running late. Well, this is a very unusual behavior from Sky. She has a perfect on time record and has never been late. Now that you mention it, it is kind weird that Sky isn't here yet. She's never been late. Have you texted her at all today? Yes, but she hasn't answered my texts all day. Which, now that you mention it, it seems really weird too. Do you mind if I step outside quickly to call Sky's mom to ask where she is? Of course I don't mind. Go right ahead. Thanks, Mr. Teacher Man, sir. I'll be right back. Please pick up. Please pick up. Hello? Oh, hi, Mrs. Sky's mom, ma'am. It's Mackenzie. Mackenzie, what a surprise. How's it going? I'm okay, but do you know where Sky is? What do you mean? I said goodbye to her and watch her get on the bus to go to school this morning. Is she not at school? No, she's not in class, and she isn't answering any of my texts or calls either. Oh my gosh, this is unlike my daughter. Oh no, no, no. Okay, wait, don't freak out yet, Mrs. Sky's mom, ma'am. Maybe she's just running late. <laughs> Too late, she's freaking out. Sky, are you here? Sky, where are you? One hour later. Don't worry, Mrs. Sky's mom, ma'am. I assure you, we will do everything we can to help locate your daughter. <laughs> we'll do it faster. I want to see my little Sky. I will send out an email right now to every parent and student of Brookhaven High, telling them to keep an eye out for Sky. That's it? You have to do more. My daughter is missing. Ma'am, let's not act unreasonable here. I understand emotions are high right now. Unreasonable? How dare you? What if this was your daughter who went missing? You expect me to just sit here and wait for Sky to magically appear right in front of me? I demand you to do more! Okay, geez, relax, you crazy lady. Let's call down Mackenzie to the office. Maybe she can help us figure out where Sky might be. Meanwhile, all right, class, please open your textbooks to page 35. Can I get a volunteer to read out loud to the class? If no one volunteers, then I'm gonna have to pick someone randomly. Please don't pick me. Please don't pick me. Mackenzie. Oh, man. Can you please read chapter 21 out loud? Mackenzie Turner, please report to the principal's office immediately. Yeah, I guess you'll have to choose someone else to read then. You got lucky this time. See ya. Hey, Mrs. Sky's mom, ma'am. Did you guys find out where Sky is yet? I'm afraid not, which is why we called you down here. Wait, wait, wait. You guys don't think I had something to do with Sky not being at school today, right? No, no, no. Of course not, Mackenzie. We just know how close you guys are, so maybe you might know where Sky could be. Oh, yes, of course. I'll do whatever I can to help. When was the last time you saw or spoke to Sky? The last time I saw her was yesterday after school. We said goodbye to each other outside our houses. And the last time I talked to her was last night when we 
here playing Roblox together. But she didn't answer any of my texts or calls today. Oh dear, oh dear, this is bad. Sky is a great kid, and it seems very unlike her to be late for school and not talk to her mom or her best friend. Mrs. Sky's mom, ma'am, I would highly recommend you go to the police station and file a missing persons report. This is what I was afraid you would say. A mother's worst nightmare, her daughter missing. <laughs> I'm coming with you. That's my best friend. We will find her, I promise. Thank you, Mackenzie. It means a lot to me that you would want to help. Come on, let's go. Moments later. Hey, ladies, how can I help you? George, my daughter Sky went on the bus this morning, but she never showed up at school. Yeah, and she hasn't replied to any of my texts or calls. <laughs> we think something bad has happened her and we really need your help well you two made the right decision to come here i promise we will find your daughter mackenzie have you ever seen sky talk to anyone strange or that you didn't know before <gasps> my daughter would never she knows better than to talk to strangers ma'am <clears throat> ma'am please let mackenzie answer no george i haven't seen sky talk to anyone else really why do you ask well you see there have been a lot of kidnappings in brookhaven recently we have been able to catch a couple of the criminals. Maybe if you recognize one of them, they can help us, give us clues to where Sky might be. Well, at this point, anything is worth a try. Let me see them, George. All right, Mackenzie, come with me. Good luck, Mackenzie! All right, Mackenzie, these three men right here are the most evilest criminals in all of Brookhaven. Do you recognize any of them? Hmm. No, I haven't seen any of these guys ever in my life. Darn it, I thought this was totally gonna work. Well, it was worth a try. So, did you recognize any of them? Do you know where my daughter is? Sorry, Mrs. Sky's mom, ma'am, but I didn't recognize any of them. Ugh, I'm starting to lose hope. This is a nightmare. I just want to hug my little Sky. <laughs> Don't lose hope yet. I promise we will find your daughter. I have printed out pictures of your daughter on this piece of paper. We should go around town and hand these out to everyone in the city of Brookhaven. That's a great idea, George. Someone's got to know where Sky is. <laughs> I guess it's worth a shot. All right, let's all split up so we can cover more ground. Meanwhile... <sighs> all right, everyone. Off. This is the last stop. Wait, what? We're in Livtopia. Now get off the bus. Oh, dear. I must have fallen asleep on the bus. I really need to stop watching Stranger Things till 3 a.m. on a school night. Hey, Mr. Bus Driver, sir. I kind of fell asleep on the bus. Do you think you could drive me back to Brookhaven? I'm supposed to be at school right now. Ha, uh, funny joke. Go wait for the next bus, little girl. Oh, well. I guess I'm just going to have to wait for the next bus that goes back to Brookhaven then. Hopefully no one's worried about me. Eh, uh, who am I kidding? They probably don't even realize. Gone. Meanwhile, my best friend Sky is missing. Please call the police if you see her. Yes, I definitely will. Have you seen this girl? No, I haven't, but I'll keep my eyes peeled. Little kid, if you see this girl, call the police, okay? <laughs> Oof, I've talked to every single person in Brookhaven. I'm gonna go back to the police station to see if the others had any luck. George, did you find any clues or evidence? No, Mackenzie, nothing. But I do have one question for you. Of course, George, ask me anything. Do you remember if Skye and her mom have had any fights recently? I ask because normally when a child goes missing randomly, like how Skye has, the parents are the number one suspects. Well, now that you mention it, while we were playing Roblox last night, I remember hearing Skye and her mom fighting because she didn't do her chores. Aha! That's exactly what I wanted to hear. This is Skye's mom, baby is guilty! She's the one we've been trying to find all along and she's been hiding right under our noses. Wow, I never expected Sky's mom to kidnap her. But now that you explained it, she must be guilty. Come on, Mackenzie. Let's go search their house for more evidence. <gasps> can we turn on the police sirens? Yes, you can turn on the police sirens. Yee! Okay, let's go. Five minutes later. Now, Shut it, Mrs. Sky's mom, ma'am. You are under arrest for the disappearance of your daughter, Sky. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say will be used against you in the court of law. How could you ever do this to your own child? What kind of a sick parent would ever kidnap their own kid? I trusted you, Mrs. Sky's mom, ma'am. <gasps> what in tarnations are you two talking about? I would never do such a thing to my own daughter. You two must have lost your minds if 
you think I have anything to do with Skies' appearance? Oh, yeah? We'll see about that. Come on, Mackenzie. Let's go search this criminal's house for more evidence. Coming, George! Go ahead! You won't find anything! You're wasting your time, you idiots! Aha! I found something! George, what did you find? I found Skies' phone! Oh, this is Skies, Mom, ma'am! It's over for you! What are you talking about? That phone prove anything oh yeah well you told us that you saw sky get on the bus to go to school this morning right yes i did what's your point what's my point what child would ever go to school without bringing their phone with them uh... yeah sky never goes anywhere without her phone this does look really bad on me right now but i swear i'm innocent guys please believe me i love sky and i would never do that to her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell it to the judge. Mackenzie, cuff her. You're going to jail for a very long time, Mrs. Sky's mom, ma'am. Meanwhile. Oof, I'm finally back home in Brookhaven. What a long day. I hope the school didn't call home today to tell my mom I wasn't at school. She'd be so mad. Huh? What the heck is happening outside my house? Here's your stop. Thank you, Mrs. Bus Driver, ma'am. Get in the car, you crook. This is awkward. I told you I would never do anything to harm my daughter, but you two idiots wouldn't listen to me. What's happening? You weren't at school today, so I thought you went missing and called your mom. We thought something bad happened to you, and we thought maybe your mom was responsible because you got in a fight last night. Oh, whoopsies. I might have fallen asleep on the bus today and ended up in Livtopia. I didn't bring my phone with me because it was at 2% since I to charge it last night. <laughs> well, that explains everything. Well, this is awkward. I'm just gonna leave now. Wow, I'm sorry for causing all this trouble today, guys. It's okay, Sky. I'm just glad my daughter is home safe. Yeah, and I'm glad my best friend is home too. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to comment down below which Brookhaven role-playing video you guys want to see me do next. And congratulations to It's Lexi Plays Roblox for being our post notification winner. If you guys want to be our next post notification winner, all you have to do is turn those post notifications on and comment done when you're done.